Hey guys, this is Todd from Bible Studies and Devotions. And my son and I, uh, there's a little bug he caught. My son and I, as we were driving to my parents tonight, uh, we passed by this New Age cult spot that's been up for a little over 10 years uh, in our neck of the woods, Northern California. And you can see they built this, uh, this little park here. It's a park of study and reflection. And they have this uh, shining uh, obelisk, this uh, metal pillar set up in the center of this park. And people come and they, they touch it and they, uh, I guess they, they kind of bow down before it and just reflect and kind of meditate there. And uh, all this stuff, you, you know, God is not pleased with. But uh, we decided to come and take the battle to this, to this park today. Uh, as prayer warriors, we decided to take the fight, take the spiritual battle onto Satan's ground and uh, and tear down this stronghold. You can see the number here, 2007, on the pillar, which I assume is when this park was installed. And I just remembered a story of uh, my dad and I driving past this when I was a little bit younger, when it first came in. And, and uh, he's not a Christian, not a religious man at all. And... Uh, I was lamenting the fact that this New Age cult had moved in and opened this strange uh, park. Uh, but he, his response surprised me. He uh, responded favorably. And he said, well, you know, they only have one teaching. And it's, uh, and it's a good one. It is uh, treat others how you want to be treated. And of course, as Christians, uh, we know exactly where that little bit of truth comes from. Yes, they, they, they are uh, teaching a little bit of truth, if that is their one teaching. Uh, just as you can probably find uh, little bits of truth in every religion, whether it be Islam or Hinduism, uh, Shintoism, uh, Taoism, whatever, uh, New Age, uh, mysticism, or ancient religion, whatever little bits of wisdom and truth that they have comes from the truth, Jesus Christ, who said, I am truth. I am the way, the truth, and the life. Uh, so we know that we don't have to get these little nuggets of information of truth secondhand, uh, diluted and distorted by human minds, but we, of course, can go to the very source of this truth, God's Holy Bible, as you can see right here. And uh, you can see right where this uh, cult got its little truth from, Matthew chapter 7 and verse 12. And so let us, when seeking truth, always come to the Word of God and never go to... Uh, to man-made religions or vain philosophies. And the Bible reads here, Therefore, what's, whatever you want men to do to you, do also to them, for this is the law and the prophets. Of course, this is the golden rule spoken by Christ and found in his word, the Holy Bible. And so we are going to take this ground for Christ and we are going to pray over this place, a prayer of protection and guidance for everyone that would be here. Everyone, if you want truth, find it in the Bible. Dear Heavenly Father, we come before you today at this place and we ask you to guide and protect anyone that would come to this place, anyone that is confused, that is seeking truth, that needs uh, the real truth, Lord, we ask that you would lead them to your truth. Protect their minds from being uh, polluted and corrupted by man-made traditions, uh, cunningly devised fables, Lord, and uh, lead them all to you, to the cross, so that they may have true wisdom and eternal life in you. In Jesus' name we pray over this spot. Amen. The parks of study and reflection. And this one is in Red Bluff. And you can see the pillar there behind that tree. Amen. We just prayed over it. We just prayed for uh, protection for everyone that comes here. 
that they wouldn't be led astray, that they would be led to God's truth, to the foot of the cross, to receive eternal life. Amen? Amen. Amen. And we found scratched in that pole after we finished praying, we found scratched in that pole a note that said, Deb prayed here. And then the date, I think, did it have the date? Deb prayed here to the heavens. Yep, Deb prayed here to the heavens. And I believe that that was another Christian that came over here and prayed over this spot as well. So, amen. Uh, there's a battle going on. There's spiritual warfare. And we don't, we don't battle against flesh and blood. We battle against powers and principalities, the rulers of darkness and, 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 and high places, right? And today uh, we fought a battle and uh, we're taking ground for Christ and his kingdom. Amen.